something strange is going on. Hey, what's happening? I thought we were dead. That thing in a festival, it was sucking everything into it. How did we get back here? I don't know. I don't remember anything after that thing sucked me into it. But here, look at today's paper. Is it yesterday? They says Friday, May 4th. But May 4th was yesterday. How's this happening? Could it be connected to my beard? That thing was to create some kind of time loop and brought us back yesterday's morning. So, am I and my dog the only person who can remember the past? Or what's the deal? What's the deal here? No idea. Let's not talk to Carl because he's going to call the police on me. Besides, I don't have the right beard to get into his house, anyways. You are here. Little lobby! Wait, can you fast travel? I didn't even, I didn't even think about it. I just click on museum. Which is... Oh yeah, it's over here. Three credits! Yeah, I'm out of cash. Dang it! Alright. We'll walk around. Hey dog, can I hear a joke? It's not a joke. What can you tell me, Leo? What do you give a sick lemon? Lemonade! Alright, alright, alright. That's a little funnier. That's a little funnier. How you doing, FM, GMF? Also, I don't think I asked you what team are you playing. What team slash what league are you playing? Not that I know very much. Grant you. I can get a gist. I tend to like to like take the serious team and just like work my way up from from the bottom to the top, you know. I feel like it's more rewarding when I can finally ex ah, finally I'm expanding my stadium. Look at me. Fourth Division English team, yeah, okay, pretty much. And Rob from Premier League, yeah, that's pretty much what I do as well. Like I, I just take like England has a nice tier list of different divisions. Start from the bottom to the top. From fourth to Premier is pretty it's pretty big, dude. That's impressive. Dedication to the uh, the craft. I can't get in here, can I? Oh, I could. Okay, cool. Hey, dude. You know what I hate? Stubblers. That's what. Wow. I thought the mayor has cut funding for many of the programs at the university. Oh no, poor university. What a weird fountain in the middle of the city. In the middle of the museum, sorry. Excuse me, sir! Yes? You must buy your tickets before you can go in. The admission desk is to the right. S sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hey, guys. Yo, how can I help you? Um, can I buy an entry ticket? Sorry, sir. My ticket system is down. My associate next to me is... <laughs> Why do you do this? Stop. Is how many tickets? Uh, 25 credits for adults, 10 for children under 6. How long the pass last? Is a good for one week from the day that you have purchased. <laughs> one, a dog, one adult, one service dog. Service dogs are free, so that will be 25 for the tickets. We don't have enough credits. Well, I'll be back. I spent all my money on candy and ice cream that no one wanted. It's going over expectations. Nice. And now you're soon ready to go play the Euro Cup, which is a lower tier international tournament with lots of publicity. Ah, to get some nice freaking sponsor money in there. Or whatever the equivalent is in uh, football manager. 
prize pool. Get that sweet, sweet prize money. I want to play. I want to play sport, football manager now. It's been a while. It's been a while. Oh, it attracts high level players. Gotcha, gotcha. When you start at a low level team, though, it tends to have that, right? Like you start with like just like I got a team, I got some good people, but mostly they're gonna be on their decline because they're all like old. And you need a, a good youth facility to train your youth, so it's not gonna happen. Unless you have a good youth facility, which you don't have if you're playing a low rated team. Do I know you? No. Thought I did. What? If a child refuses sleep during nap time, they're guilty of resisting arrest? <laughs> okay, that's funny. That's funny. If a child refuses to sleep during nap time, aren't they guilty of resisting arrest? Alright, that, that was a good chuckle. He just bought a young Brazilian left winger for a hefty sum, so so far he has not delivered up. <laughs> He's not delivered, but for one game. Oh no. <laughs> oh, sorry, buddy. Sorry. It happens sometimes. I'm gonna buy a good person. He's gonna make my team go sky high. Turns out, nah, sorry. He sucks worse than the last guy you had. Uh, hello there. Would you please just leave me alone? Are you going to festival tomorrow? Yes, I'm hoping to win the jelly bean contest at Hernan's today. Ooh! Jelly beans! I am basically a pro jelly bean counter. I will win them for you. Sure. Did you want... Uh, a piece of gum I found off the floor? I don't blame you. Did you want some ice cream? It's a peer to yours. I think they hate me because my beer sucks. Okay, let's go to Hernan's. Hernan's. To the right. Or Hermad's, whatever it's called. Twenty three million dollars for the per, for the the Brazilian? Oh, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money for for a, a person, especially when you're playing at a low ranking. Although if you're Premier League now, maybe not so much. I forget. Is Premier League the one below the highest level? Is it the highest level? I forget. I don't watch football. My only exposure to football is through Football Manager. It's the highest. Okay, okay. Ah! Scrap paper with the word panic on it. That's not scary at all. Panic! Hey, you're mads. All the classic teams. And my team? Forest Green. <laughs> Man United. Man City. Chelsea. I know those ones. Arsenal. I don't know Arsenal as well. Liverpool. That's true. I don't think I've heard of Tottenham. And my team? Forest Green. I think it, I think the style's a little different, but... I like it. I like it. The weekly jelly bean competition ends today. Oh, wait. Hold on. I didn't read what he said. Oops. At 6 p.m. So far, nobody's the right answer. You want to try? It costs five credits. I got zero credits. Can I sell you items? No. I got zero credits. I spent all my money on ice cream and candy. <laughs> you play your forest green and you play at Eco Park. I like that. It's really cute. <laughs> you 
You're not the first to try getting af in after closing. Beat it, Sam. Hmm. Where all the credits be at, man? I'm a grass walker. Uh, also, I'm trying to look for someone. My girlfriend. At her house? Maybe her house is open now. Okay, let's look at her place then. So where the fuck am I? University. I think she's in the... The suburbs to the... Oh my god. What a weird navigation system. I think she's in this suburbs. I also gotta find Natalie, but I don't know where her house is, but she has a purple car. So find the purple car and you find her house. You should call yourself the Forest Green Rangers, or the Green Forest Rangers. We're the Green Forest Rangers, and we play at Echo Park. Why did I buy candy? <gasps> Purple car! Ran me over. And I lost it. And it's my girlfriend's house. Classic. It just isn't home then. Hmm. Oh, you can't choose a name. The Forest Green Rovers. I mean, if you're playing the lowest team anyway, it doesn't really matter if you add your own team. I guess you don't get the um, existing players that already exist. But I mean, at lowest level anyways, they can just make up most of the teams, no? I don't know what I'm looking for. Try going to the outer suburbs, maybe? Because I can't buy anything at the store. Because this, I had no money. I can't even buy the jelly bean contest because I had no money. Can't do much. Oops. Not where I wanted to go. Because my girlfriend wants me to buy some stuff for her. But I'm assuming that costs money. This purple car again. Follow it. I think it's just random. The person was in my house last night. Had a purple car, so why I'm trying to say follow the purple car. But maybe. There's some gum. But no one likes gum apparently. Make this mostly on the floor I find it, but that's okay. This is the teacher housing, I believe. Great. A fire hydrant. Fantastic. Largest tomatoes the world has ever seen. I believe it. Birdies. Mats. All these people. Graysons. Getting late. And I have accomplished nothing. <gasps> Purple car! It's Natalie's car. I hear someone inside. Great, so we found our house. Good god, she's got a large house. And a knock. I could only get to her house if I had mutton chops. 
Authorized beards, friendly mutton chops. Oh, this is not her house. Does she have an entrance elsewhere? This has to be her house. Her car is parked here. Someone in the garage. Hello, garage. It's me, Indy. Last year's beard winner. <gasps> credits! Yo, five credits. I can enter the Jellybean contest now. Fuck yeah. That was way harder than it should have been. <gasps> More money! Boys, we're getting rich. We're getting rich now. I need mutton chops to enter Natalie's place. What other tests did I have to do? Who the heck is Den? Oh yeah. Den is the guy who helped to uh, fix the panel. Oh, there's a little bio about them. Look at that. Willy. Can you just be found in dorms or by the lake? A biology student majoring in marine life research. Ah, man after my own heart. Enjoys nature and catching butterflies in the park. Precocious child and fussy eater. But she likes candy. Oh, it tells you their likes. Oh, that's pretty handy. Accused of crime she didn't commit. Oh, poor Sophia. Yeah, dude, no one likes freaking gum, huh? It's because I find it on the, off the floor usually, but you never know. Oh, emotion. Ice cream, many flavors, drinks, ask for prices. Usually how that works. Uh-oh, what are you guys doing out here? Up to no good? With a bar like this and a beard like this, the festival should be mine for the taking. I did. Robert's been obsessed with the festival. It's all he talks about. I don't blame you, dude. An annual beard festival? I would love to go to one. Not to compete. Just to hang out, you know? See all the beards. Live the life. Where the heck am I? I'm near the saloon. The saloon could be open, 9 p.m. Ah, freaking hedge. This is my busiest time of the week. You want to help me preparing food? Yeah, sure. Why not? I don't know why you would just let me help you out. Hey, I got a guy who's looking for work. You want to you want to hire someone? Help out with the orders by putting the food on the plate before the order expires. Oh, it's overcooked. <laughs> Use the sink to clear the plate if you mess up an order. Oh my gosh, a uh, bun? Where's the plate? Oh, there's the plate. What? Bun, beef, tomato. Oh, I see. It's fine. Bun. Patty. Tomato. Go. Oh, bun. Oh, it's different orders. Okay. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I gotcha. I was understanding it, but I see it now. It's a cheeseburger order. I don't think I can finish that. Ah, I couldn't. Oh, there's another one. <sighs> My god, I did six. 
That's barely half. Yeah, two cheeseburgers? I'm so jealous. Yo, excuse me, thanks for helping, dude. It's a, it's 1 a.m., time to close. Here's your 200 quests and the free cheeseburger for helping me out. Yo, Barry, thank you. I, I fulfilled half your orders, but thank you for the freaking free cheeseburger. Can I ask cheeseburger? And 200 credits? I'm fucking rich, dude. Super organic cheese. Not just organic cheese, but super organic cheese. I'm not big on words with organic on it. Because it costs more, and it's usually not any better than I prefer, you know, than GMO grown food. I like the idea of GMO food. It's way more efficient. But now super organic. Now we're talking. I guess I should skip the day. Now we're talking. You're totally against GMOs? Oh, no, I'm totally on board with GMOs. Totally on board. I'm curious, why are you against GMOs? I'm not gonna slime on that one, it's up to you. Because the, the worst case I see for GMOs is the um, is the chance of like super weeds being created, which is bad. I agree on that one. Super weed is pretty bad, but uh, beyond that, it's just pretty much you get your food, it grows better, it tastes better, easier to grow, naturally or antiset uh, anti Naturally, anti-weed, naturally, anti-pest. Not too bad. So you don't need to, you don't need to ruin the environment by adding anti-pest or by adding anti-weed uh, um, compounds to the plants. I mean, certain plants. I'm wearing a fake beard. But super weeds though, <laughs> sounds pretty good to me. 420 blazer, bro. <laughs> I like that super weed shit, man. Sadly, not that kind of super weed. Sadly. Though that would be good too. All right. I now have 210 buckaroons. Let's go. The plants near fucked anyways? Yeah, fair enough. It pretty much is. Yeah, I know, dude. I know. We're in a time warp. I get it. I'd rather just, you know, not fuck it up more. If I have the option to. At the same time, I don't want to, like, live aesthetically and live like, you know, like, well, I gotta live with minimum everything, you know? Lower my electricity. Lower this. Lo I mean, I should lower everything. But to have it to zero? Nah. Still gotta live my life anyways. I'm not gonna purposely fuck things up over though. Most things are GMO anyway, so don't put effort into being against anymore. Yeah, fair enough. All right, I just want to ask. I'm not trying to, to put you on blast or anything. Just wondering. Hey, Red. Hey, Andy. My main man. How goes? Oh, I'm a bit of a pickle, Red. Oh, no, man. Well, it was nothing too serious, but we all got our demons to face, you know? Say, maybe I can help. I have some exclusive products right now, reserved for only trusted customers. Ooh, what kind of items? Look, these items, they're reserved for only trusted customers. Like you, Andy. I can trust you, right? Don't tell anyone. I'm insulted you have to ask. Well, here's the skinny. I got a fine selection of fake facial attire. 
Only the best. I can't tell you the difference from the real thing. Ooh. They have been quite the man the past couple of weeks, selling like hotcakes. And you know everyone likes hotcakes, Indy. I don't think I've ever had a hotcake. No, thanks, Red. Hey, tell my man. I'm here Monday through Friday. Well, good thing it's always Friday. Oh, look at all these fucking fine selection of beards. Okay, I need mutton chops to get into my girlfriend's place. Oh, a year. A full year of uninterrupted, uninterrupted beard growth. What you got over here, buddy? What you got over here? Try your luck. Black coffee. Alright, I'm gonna take the mutton chops. And save my cash for other things to do. Yes, doggo? I know! Sheesh! Get out of my way! Ah, sweet curb money. Love it. Thank you very much. All right, let's go to my girlfriend's place. Snoop around there a bit. Oh, I totally missed it. Uh, oop, oop, oop. Oh, he looks so slick. Oh no, she's anchor. Oh my bad. What are you eating mutton chops? Was that Natalie's place any mutton chops? Maybe it was Natalie's place. Let's go there. If I recall how to get there. Go university first and go around. Hello. Oops. Five credits. Love it. And I gotta go up here. A little shortcut. All right, through the tall building. I recall this. I recall this. There's her car. Make sure I avoid the garage because I'm breaking into her house. There you go, scan. What do you mean access denied? Oh, I don't have friendly mutton chops. I have irregular mutton chops. Apparently there's a difference. Well, my bad, my bad. Sheesh, how many beard styles? Well, then let's go to the museum. The museum's down there. So I'm not going to refer it. Let's go to uh, Hermad's and enter the jelly bean contest. And then to the store to buy the groceries for my girlfriend. So I got all this cash from working the hot dog stand. Hot dog. Is the uni. Now loading. Wait, where am I? Totally not where I thought it was going to be. Hold on, hold on, hold on. To the right.
Oh, there you are. Hermans? Enter Jelly Bean Contest. As are your guests. We can literally count them, I guess. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Oh, no. <laughs> Rude. Okay. Okay. Tap, pop, toop, huh? I'm going to say 48. Oh, or an even 50. Good try. I'm not correct, I'm afraid. Better luck next time. Can I just keep trying? Okay, well, 50 was wrong. That can get kind of annoying. I don't know if it's tall or if it's close or, or far, or if it's like lo smaller or, or taller, smaller or larger than, my, than the action of the jelly bean. He doesn't tell me anything. GPS tracker. $600 for GPS tracker. This makes sense. Hidden camera can. This place and footage will transmit to your beard pad at the end of the day. Oh. That's pretty cool. I don't know why I saw that grill at a freaking corner store, but okay. You do you, bub. You do you. Okay. To the grocery store then. Which is past City Hall? Oh, sweet. Look at all this freaking free credits, man. But I can't get in there. I want the free credits, but I can't get in there. Hey, you know, you know about this? I see some suspicious types coming and going from City Hall. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I am terrible in real life at, um... Hello? Oh, there you go. Are you serious? We'll be fine. I just want to go get the money. I'm terrible in real life at, like, navigating uh, the world around me. I'm even worse in game. Because I remember playing games like, um... Like Halo or Call of Duty. 50 credits? It was totally worth it. <laughs> More iron means, means better maniac ability. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. I can, I can point north at all times. <laughs> so I, I remember playing like Call of Duty or like um, Halo at my friend's place and like just like absolutely getting my ass hand to me because A, it was bad at the game and B, because um, I just didn't know, I couldn't recognize the map. The map was just for me, was like, I couldn't make heads or tails of it. I would get lost every single time. Or I'd be like, just follow me, dude. We'll hide in this place. Like, okay, I'm following you. I look away for one, se one second and I lose him. Like, I don't know where I am anymore. Where the fuck do I go? Is that why doves can always find their homes? I don't think so. Maybe that does explain... I don't know if it's because of the iron that they can know north. I think it's just because they know from when this, you know, the sun sets. But maybe, because they can navigate... They can navigate through rain and, like, bad weather, right? I think it's coincidence. But maybe it's onto something? Oh, you can't go to the district anymore? All right, doggo, go ask. Can they speak to dogs? Hello, officer. What's up, dog? <laughs> I was hoping to get uh, to this double district. Sorry, little bud. With the recent strike and the festival coming up, we're under orders to restrict passages through. In both directions, between you and me, is to keep them out. But it has, it has to look fair, you know? Okay. That sounds fine. 
Great. Um, so how do I go to... What? How do I go to the store then? Is there another way forward? All right, I can't go to the grocery store to buy my girlfriend stuff. Bummer. It is definitely interesting. I, I don't know what would make them. It could just be instincts. That they they recognize, which way they're facing at all times. So even though it's foggy, they still know which way is north. And therefore, east, west, and south. Yeah. Weird. The high iron level, though, is pretty interesting. Okay, let's go to the museum. I can fast travel there. For three credits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. I am terrible at navigating. And I'm pretty high in iron, actually. I get blood quite often. And I tend to be like over the like the recommend limit by uh, quite a bit like oh you need I don't remember number like you need 12 iron uh, 12 milligrams of iron in your blood to you know to proceed and I'm like okay here's my blood and like oh sir you got 14 it's very high in iron <laughs> well 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 sir I'm like oh <laughs> thank you <laughs> I, I, I eat a lot of spinach and broccoli hey <laughs> Uh, I think you can. I don't think they ask if if they for for marijuana, but they still ask if you've had sex with men, which is pretty fucked up, though. So in the past, they had that whole idea of like, oh, because of the whole um, the whole AIDS epidemic of the the eighties, um, if you if you're homosexual, you can't get blood. Dumb, because AIDS is not through anal sex. AIDS is through all kinds of sex uh, so whether you're homosexual or not changes nothing but it was predominant in the, in the home in the gay community and those were like the 80s so people were, were more um, how do we put it um, idiots back then but um, is this forever now sweet I gotta pay it once but uh, even to this day in 2021 they still ask at homosexual sex, sex, homosexual sex, another man, and uh, if you say yes, then you can't get blood. They don't give you a reason why that's still a thing. They don't tell you why. But it's because it's just like oh, that old myth of like oh, well, AIDS is very high in the homosexual community, so you know we can't get blood. You can't accept AIDS blood. Like yeah, no shit. We should be testing that for that anyways because anyone could have AIDS. That doesn't make any sense. What are you talking about? You're not reducing your, your you just reduce the amount of people who can give blood to you. They even go so far as to ask, have you had sex with a man who's had has who's who's has had homosexual sex? So you could be fine, but if you have a partner who's homosexual, mm, 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 then you're no fine, you're not fine more. Have you seen Teen America? Of course I've seen Teen America, but that that's based on the whole like, the same idea, but still, like, it's like... America! Fuck yeah! Saving the world against the forces! There's the whole AIDS song, of course. Everybody's got AIDS, AIDS, AIDS! But, like, that's such a long time ago, though. Such a long time ago. What am I looking for? I can steal a beard. <gasps> The infamous anchor from the independence battle. <gasps> yeah. Let's get into my girlfriend's place. Create a distraction. Look at these massive beards. Oh my gosh, this is bigger than mine. My beard is not that long. It's like half that length. Maybe like three quarters of that length. It's a pretty dumb show. <laughs> Man, I must have been like, what, like freaking 13 or 12 when I watched that? 
I was too young to watch that movie. <laughs> I don't think it really holds up, though, <laughs> in modern days. You're like 25. You're not that much older than I was than I am. You're not. Are you 10? Are you 12 years older than I am? No. Yeah, that's very true. Humor is, doesn't, doesn't usually hold up well. Excuse you? The right beard may be able to speak back in again, otherwise I need to return. Okay. Sure. Whatever you say. It's gonna make hot dog money. Make some bank. Oh, sweet. What is this? Sam's Brewed Brown Ale. Nice. I could just fucking fast travel. What am I doing? But especially like, like uh, crude humor like that. Definitely doesn't hold. They suck now. <laughs> no laugh. Oh, wait. Uh, so something about Mary? I kind of like it something about Mary. There's some scenes where it's definitely cringe, but I kind of like that movie. Maybe I'm not, maybe I'm not lying to myself. But uh, Adam Sandler's, yeah. Juice Bigelow, yeah. I definitely get that. Oh. Guess I can only do it once. That's weird. Your soul patch? It's not a soul patch. Excuse me. That's a mustache. A soul patch is like this, this little part right here. It's the Jack Black. That's not a soul patch. Oh, yeah, I get you. But I mean, but dumb movies is also like a thing. I kind of hated dumb movies in their prime to like, I absolutely like in general, I kind of don't like pothead movies. Because it's just it's just very dumb, like Pineapple Express. I dis I disliked. I liked I loved um, Tasha's D Pick of Destiny, but I think it's only because it's a musical and Jack Black. If it wasn't because the musical part, I probably also would not have liked Tenacious D, but the musical part makes it fantastic. Like, I didn't I didn't like Pineapple Express. Um, is Super Bad a pop movie? I don't remember that one that well. I remember I didn't like it so, so much. Because it's just very, very dumb movie. <laughs> I like the pot scenes in every movie. Like, a pot scene is fine. It's when the movie is like revolving around people being very high. Like, what's that actor? Uh, Seth Rogen. Basically, the biggest pothead. <laughs> I'm not a fan of that actor whatsoever. Oh my god! <laughs> That's Seth Rogen for you, literally. I'm not, I'm not a fan of Seth Rogen. He's just like... It's, he's, he leans too heavily on the whole, I'm always hot. <laughs> like, okay, chill. I get it. You like weed. That's cool. You do you, man. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Enjoy your weed. But like, just like, don't make it your identity. On a movie screen. Yo, man, what's up? Why so glum? A long story. My sweetheart was evicted to the stubble district last year. Her beard stopped growing and all she could muster was stubble. Oh no! Usually I visit her on weekends until she can grow it back. But since the border has been closed off recently, I'm unable to go. Say, if you happen to go that way, could you give me her, this her letter? Sure. What's she look like? Great. Forbidden love. Do you like apples? 
Ooh, high quality too. Yeah, you do. You go to bed. Have a good night. Ooh, you have some grayscale derpy sharks. Ooh, <laughs> kind of like that actually. Have a good. It's like the OG derpy sharks. You guys, I don't think you remember. I don't think you're around for the OG derpy shark. He's basically all gray, like the derpy, like this guy. Take care, dude. And Merry Christmas. They have AIDS. Oh no. Oh, that's a bad joke. No. Oh. <laughs> Is that how you're going to leave? <laughs> Take care. <laughs> no, it's fine. I, I find it kind of funny. <laughs> Take care. Hi, Carl. Every day, blah, blah, blah. Get the message, bro. Wow. Okay. So good darts. I'm the best dart player in Beardsville. Want to play? Puh. Easy. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Mini game. Fuck yeah. Let's do it. How do you play darts again? You got to hit 320s, right? In the little box. Fuck yeah. No! That help me? Wait, you get four darts? I don't know how to play darts. Oh, you don't. Okay. Score 55. No. Not gonna fly. Better luck next time. I'm gonna keep playing. No! Wait, what? I have no idea what the rules of darts are. Let's go for a bullseye. Outer bullseye. Nope, that's a fail. What? <laughs> How do you play this weird game? How do you score this? Does anyone know? <laughs> Come on. Was that it? Was that it? Trouble 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was in. Wait, current score is 60. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, I beat it. Score to beat. I don't know how I beat it this time. I'm pretty sure this is the first time as well. That's okay. Nah. Oh, well. 100. Oh, 100. All right. I beat the score. Kicked ass. Don't know how to play the game, but I kicked ass. You scored 100. Wow. I guess you are good. I'm going to practice some more. Here. Since I respect, let me buy you Sam's Brown. I already have one of those. Oh, but it made her like me more. Do you want it back? Yeah, you do. Fight on. Hello. Four years of college now. I work in City Hall. What a waste of time. Ah, classic. Been there, done that. Hi. Do you know anything about quantum beer mechanics? No, of course. I know everything about quantum beard mechanics. I'm the freaking master of quantum beard mechanics. A beard can exist equally in two different in two places. But you don't know the state of one beard until you observe it. But when you observe one beard, you know the other beard is the exact opposite of that beard. So if I had a mutton chop, you know my quantum pairing definitely has the goatee, the full goatee. Like whatever the, the whole the whole face thing is. It's the opposite of a mutton chop. It's easy, basic stuff. Quantum beer mechanics. Could you please get some personal space chin curtain? Mm. I, I, I. 
I getcha. Like your shirt, dude. A town with a museum is no town at all. What? What? Here. Why don't you have some beer and shop? A true gem, thanks. Look type of person who would burn books. Wow! This guy's rude. I would never burn a book. Never. What a dick. Oh, he's busy now when it's this late. I gotcha. I gotcha. Let's do it. Let's get some cash. I know how to play now, so let's go. Probably hamburgers, right? I'm ready. Bring it on. Here's a hot dog. Are we okay? Are we broken here? What's happening? There's a cheeseburger. Yeah, what's the deal here? Am I stuck in this? Is the game broken? It's supposed to show me a place on top, but I don't see anything. Hello? You can't double stack the beefs. You can't double. You cannot have double decker burger. That's fine. But you can have a beef tomato sausage burger. Help! I'm trapped. Anyone? Get me out of here. I can't get out of here. I, I'm, I can't even escape out of here. Oh my. Oh dear. Oh no. Oh my. Oh dear. Animated virtue. Who stole? What? What happened to your beard? Why is this game in accordance with what's happening in real life? Oh my god. It's fine. It's just in a little braid. Just in a little braid today. Aside to, to braid it up. How you doing, buddy? It's pretty late for you. Or I guess pretty early? Good morning. How you doing? <laughs> Merry Christmas. I guess it's Christmas Eve for you. Uh, I'm kind of stuck in here. I can't do anything. Bread. Beef. Tomato. Chez. Sausage. The ultimate chess burger. Sausage. I might have to, like, restart the game? I didn't save. I didn't think it would bug out like this. Okay. I think by now the game would have been over. It's like a mini game. I played this before. I don't know why it's bugging out. It's, uh, Alt F4 then.